we present image sculpting precise object editing with 3D geometry control. Our image sculpting framework offers the ability to interact with 3D geometry starting with a single image. In image editing, achieving precise control can be challenging with standard 2D generative pipelines. Since we are editing in 3D space, we can do the precise pose editing, such as adjust the arm pose of LeBron James to a specific desired posture, or changing the pose of Iron Man to match that of Spider-Man. We can also modify the Joker's pose to depict him as if he has slipped down the staircase. Similarly, we could reimagine Sebastian from the movie La La Land, dancing in a different style. We can do the same with the astronaut, In fact, our pose editing abilities are not limited to humans. We can even adjust the pose of objects, such as bending the legs of this chair. With the 3D model, we have the ability to also do rotations. For example, we can bend the leg of a chair and then rotate the entire chair by certain degrees. Here is another example where we adjust the pose of an astronaut and rotate them by a specific degree. Here are more results. Our approach also enables precise translation. In this demonstration, we show how the truck can move closer. Here is another example where we shift the dog closer to the camera. Beyond mesh deformation, our method enables cutting and removing parts of the mesh through the use of molds. We use molds shaped like moons, stars, nose, and mouth to carve designs into a pumpkin. We can do the same with this watermelon. We can cut the cake. Our method allows for the addition of artist-created 3D objects to the scene. We can add the hat and parrot to the scene. Or we can adjust Joker's pose and add the tiger. Here we have bent the leg of the chair and placed a 3D model of a ficus beside it. Additionally, we've adjusted the pose of the reconstructed Joker mesh, positioning him to sit on the chair. We can also add the ficus back. Here are more results. Similar to composing 3D models, we can take meshes reconstructed from images and integrate them into the scene one by one. In this example, we have got a mesh from the duck, scaled it down, and then added it to the scene. Or we can keep adding fish to the pond or we can add more cherry. Our pipeline begins with segmenting the selected object from the input image using SAM. Next, we use 0, 1 to 3 to train a NERF model. Following this, the NERF volume is transformed into a mesh along with its texture. With this mesh, we can edit the pose using 3D deformation and render it back into image space. However, this rendered image is coarse, so we pass it through an image translation pipeline to refine the rendering into a high-quality output. This example demonstrates 3D deformation using cage-based approach, a method where a mesh's shape is altered using a simpler enclosing mesh known as a cage. In this process, the target mesh's vertices are influenced by the cage's vertices. We showcase an encaged armadillo 3D model whose pose can be adjusted by repositioning the cage. This example illustrates shape-aware deformation, specifically the as rigid as possible technique. Users select handle points, shown in blue, on the model's surface to manipulate and deform it. By dragging these points, they can achieve the desired pose of the 3D model. The most popular deformation approach is linear blend skinning. The skin of a 3D model is bound to an underlying skeletal structure composed of bones. When a bone is moved or rotated, the attached skin deforms correspondingly. Although our methods are compatible with various deformation techniques, we prefer linear blend skinning for its intuitive mesh manipulation facilitated by the skeletal structure. In this demonstration, we show how users can create a skeleton for a reconstructed mesh and we leave the further automation of this step as a future work. Subsequently, the astronaut's pose can be edited to achieve the desired outcome. We will now explain our course to fine enhancement. We use Stable Diffusion XL 
and adopt a one-shot dream booth approach to capture the texture of the input image while we use depth control and feature injection to preserve the geometric information of the course rendering. The red module denotes the one-shot dream booth which requires tuning. The gray module is the SDXL refiner, which is frozen in our experiments. For more information, please visit our paper. To refine this image, we begin with DDIM inversion of the course rendering image to obtain the inverted latents. Note that DDIM Plus represents DDIM with the Dreambooth fine-tuned and depth-controlled model. We then inject self-attention maps and feature maps from the initial image's denoising process into the enhanced image denoising steps. This technique helps in preserving the geometry of the modified object while restoring the visual quality of the edited image. We also conduct comparisons with state-of-the-art object editing methods. The top row displays the input image, while the middle row shows results from 3DIT. Our results are presented in the bottom row. Specifically, we instructed 3DIT to move the object to a specific location, or rotating the object, or inserting the object. We show that 3DIT can only deal with limited editing tasks and still falls short in delivering precise control. We also compared our pose editing capabilities with drag diffusion and control net. On the left, the drag control is displayed where red points indicate the source and blue points represent the target. Drag diffusion's results are in the second column. Control net's outcomes using open pose as input are in the fourth column. Our results are showcased on the right side. This comparison reveals that these methods encounter difficulties with extensive and complex pose modifications. Furthermore, we conducted comparisons with text-based editing methods such as InstructPix2Pix and Dolly3. The top row presents results from InstructPix2Pix, followed by Dolly3's outcomes in the second row. Our results are displayed in the bottom row. For these comparisons, we used text prompts with numerical instructions. Both InstructPix2Pix and Dolly3 struggled with this task, demonstrating imprecise control. Our image sculpting framework offers precise and measurable editing capabilities. We believe that our method can foster new opportunities in merging the flexibility of generative models with the precise controllability inherent in traditional graphics pipelines. Thank you for your attention.